HKS0R project started as early as 1989 with HKS wanting to build their own production car based off the R32 GTR. This was before any Nismo Special Edition cars were even conceived. Getting hard facts on the car is very difficult, but it appears the car went through various setups during testing and development, including at the Nürburgring, and ended up with a TA45 single turbo and power at 450 PS from the HKS built and tuned engine mated to a six-speed transmission. Very impressive stuff at the time. The unique aero is the standout feature as were the magnesium rims originally used. In total, 10 Zero R's were believed to be built, but crash testing regulations in the early 90s brought the entire project to a halt in 1993. From what we have worked out though, one car was sold to the Sultan of Brunei and remains in Brunei but with a new owner, but the other nine cars sat rotting at HKS for the rest of the 20th century. In 2005, HKS officially rebuilt, or did a remake, of one of the Zero R's. The first one was silver and the TA45 single turbo was replaced with low mount 2530 turbos on a modern HKS built engine with a 6 speed from an R34 GTR. In 2006, a white one was built by HKS and had a more luxurious theme. They built a black one called Edition 3 and the final one built by HKS was the Edition 3 Plus in grey, the final chapter and the one that we are here to feature. Some searching of the internet has seen photos of a Zero R in purple colour and there are pics of ones in silver, white and black with various wheels so we're not sure exactly how many have ended up in private ownership but we do know that only four were officially remade as complete HKS cars. We saw the final one at auction at the 2019 Tokyo Auto Salon before it was snapped up by Melbourne GTR collector Alan from V-Spec Performance. The car was the main attraction at the 2021 Nitto Performance Engineering GTR Festival, after which it was dropped at Croydon Racing Developments to install and tune a MoTeC ECU, replacing the HKS FCON ECU. This is where we had a chance to take a look and drive this truly unique GTR. The Zero R's main claim to fame is its unique bodywork. HKS designed their own front bar with fog lights as well as their own side skirts with brake ducts which have been moulded into the front and rear fenders. The rear bar has an integrated diffuser and twin exit exhaust which necessitated moving the fuel tank to where the back seat would normally be. This is why there is an alloy fuel filler under the rear quarter glass. The rear wing is also unique and blended into the body as well. The car now wears BBS wheels wrapped in Bridgestone Potenza tyres and inside them there is a Brembo brake upgrade. Inside you can see the fuel tank and its enclosure are huge. There is plenty of Zero R badging on the side steps, leather trim steering wheel and the re-trimmed leather bucket seats. Old school gauges in the glove box have been replaced by an HKS electronic boost controller, torque split controller and a port for the MoTeC. The 360km per hour Speedo is rather optimistic but cool. Under the hood is an HKS built RB26. We don't know the exact specs but forged pistons and rods, upgraded head gasket, head studs and valve train would be a safe assumption to support the HKS low mount turbochargers. There is an HKS suction kit, piping kit and intercooler and it still uses the stock inlet manifold. Keen observers will spot the HKS V-cam system which adds variable valve timing to the inlet cam. There is a Koyo radiator, adjustable fuel pressure regulator to support the upgraded injectors and a Nismo oil air separator. The gearbox is an R34 Jettrag 6-speed with an upgraded clutch 
giving much shorter gearing, and there is HKS coilovers and an HKS strut brace. CID tuned the car to make over 400 wheel horsepower on 17 PSI on regular premium unleaded. It's capable of more, but being such a rare car, Alan just wanted to be able to cruise and enjoy it reliably. Thanks to Alan from VSpec Performance. I will give it a little squirt though. 